So there's a lot of excitement. Uh, this is the first corpse flower in the GTA that's about to flower. It is ahead of schedule by about four years. Uh, it's a big marvel in the horticultural world. Uh, it's one of the largest flowers in the world. Uh, it's from the island of Sumatra in Indonesia. And there's only been about 200 of them in the entire world ever flower. So it's a pretty big event. Uh, it's the fourth or fifth one in Canada to ever bloom. And uh, this is our Pablo Picasso. It is very rare indeed when these flowers do bloom. They usually take a few years off in between blooms. In fact, one was known to take 100 years off. On years where they're not blooming, they actually come up like this. This is actually one single leaf of this plant. It's known as the corpse plant for a very good reason. Starts off as one of these corms, but when it blooms, it stinks. The smell is, is the fell, it's definitely famous for that. Uh, it's sort of a cross between uh, fish, feces, mothballs with a tiny bit of flowers thrown right. in. It's just wonderful. It's, it's, it's a flower that you don't want it's in your the, house. That's exactly it, and that's part of the reason it's so special is you definitely wouldn't be able to grow this in your house. And when it's about to bloom, it grows fast. And it will only bloom for a very short window of time. As you can see here by this one that recently bloomed in Vancouver and drew large crowds to see this rare quick glimpse. So it's been putting on two to three inches a day. Uh, the spathe in here, the, the skirt as I like to call it, is starting to color up. You're seeing some of the maroon color in there. That will actually fold down and it simulates a corpse or blood. It's a deep, deep maroon color and that's when the smell will start coming out. Um, it only has a day or two to pollinate, even in the wild, it blooms every 20 years, so it's gotta get it done right the first time, so that's why it heats up, that's why it stinks. It's, it's, uh, it'll actually heat up to human body temperature, and it emits waves of smell throughout the night to attract as many pollinators as it can. The flower is currently off exhibit. You cannot see it if you go to the zoo, but it will be open to the public when it blooms for an additional $12 charge. A lot of people to get through in a day and a half while it's flowering. So it's a pretty short event, but it's, it's absolutely exciting for us here at the Toronto Zoo. Well, the zoo will be open extended hours once the flower does bloom. You should check all of their social media sites to find out exactly when that happens. At the Toronto Zoo, Audra Brown, City News.